Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you some Windows 10 tricks you really need to know. Let's get started with Error Shake. This trick is old classic. It's been around since Windows 7 and it still works today. So if your screen is getting clotted with open windows, you could just minimize each window individually. But instead, I'll show you the faster way. Left click on the title bar of program you're working with and with the left mouse button held down, shake your mouse back and forth from the left to right to minimize all windows. And if you want to bring all the windows back up, just shake your mouse again. That's it. Number two, dictation. In any text field, to activate it, press Windows K plus H on your keyboard. Now everything you say shows up as text. Number three, emojis. Just in case, if you don't know, you can bring out the emojis. Just press Windows key and period key on your keyboard. In addition, there are steps to access key emojis characters and a selection of symbols. Number 4. Cloud Clipboard. It's very very useful. I wish I knew that a long time ago. You already know, Ctrl C and Ctrl V, copy and paste. The problem with this feature is that it only keeps track of the last item. Now I'm gonna show you one trick. It calls Cloud Clipboard. It lets you copy and paste multiple times. Oh my god! Wow! To enable it, go to setting and click on system. In the last pane, select clipboard. Turn on clipboard history, pressing Windows plus V. Now you see how it works. Number 5. Nearby sharing. Microsoft has a feature called nearby sharing that will let you share content with other computers connected to your network or Bluetooth. To enable it, go to System, then Share Experience, toggle the switch on. Now when you select Share in Microsoft Words and many other programs including Photos, you should see nearby computer. Number 6. Shifting gears program you have been on your taskbar can be easily opened without having click on them. Just press Windows plus number as you can see, File Explorer is 1, Opera is 2. Just try it. Easy peasy. Number 7. Game Bar. If you're a gamer and you want to record your gameplay, you don't need to download any app. You already have it on your computer. Press Windows plus G to bring it up. You can still take a screenshot and record your gameplay. Leave a comment. What game do you like to play? Number 8. Take a screenshot. If you need to take a screenshot and you know how to do that, I'll show you. Just press Windows plus Shift plus letter S. Your choices are Rectangular, Freeform, Window and Full Screen Snip. Let's go with Rectangular. Drag an area. The selected area will be saved to your clipboard. To save it, just click here. Save whatever you want. Number 9. Graphic Performance Preference. If you need to improve your preference or extend your battery life, head over to the Graphic Performance Preference Settings. In the Settings app, go to System. In the Display tab, scroll all the way down and select Graphic Settings. With the game I have listed here, when you select it, go to Options. You could set the Graphic Performance. There are three choices. Choose what you need. Number 10. God Mode. If you're a public user, then I'm gonna show you something. It's great for those people that want a massive amount of settings, all within a single interface. To enable it, you need to create a folder, rename the folder with the text on the screen. You'll find the text in the description of this video. Hit enter. Now this folder became this icon. When you open it, you'll have the ultimate control with more settings that you probably ever need. That's it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment what trick do you find more useful. See ya!